buenos días, señor Chihuahua. ¡Ay, caramba! You're short, you're sassy, and by all means, full of yourself. You're a six-pound bundle of energy. And although you're the world's smallest dog breed, your larger-than-life personality makes you stand heads above the rest. You're the Chihuahua, with an emphasis on wow. The Chihuahua is fast becoming one of the nation's most popular dog breeds. So if you're in the market for a Mexican scoundrel and yo quiero un perro with pizzazz, the Chihuahua may be the right breed for you. And for the fashion conscious, they even come in blue. In the 9th century, the Chihuahua was a favored sacrifice to the Aztec gods. Evidence of the role it played is still visible today in the monastery of Huejozingo. Housed within these stone walls is evidence of the Chihuahua's earliest ancestors, a dog called the Tichichi. The stone carvings you see represent the ancient breed. Archaeologists and historians alike believe this dog was a popular pet as well as a religious necessity among the ancient Toltec tribes and later among the Aztecs. Legend has it that the dogs represented were cremated and buried with their masters as a guarantee of eternal life. Some were even sacrificed as food in honor of the Aztec gods. But where did this ancient breed originate? Was it Mexico or somewhere else? Among dog historians, there's some great speculation about the breed's country of origin. Some believe the dog originated in Egypt, while others theorize the chi was brought over by Chinese traders. While the debate continues, what is known is that the dogs were first discovered by American tourists in the late 19th century in the Mexican state of Chihuahua, hence the name. The Americans returned to the U.S. with several of these dogs. It's from those first few cheese that we have what is considered today the present-day Chihuahua. You're being so funny. For Linda George, showing cheese is only part of the joy. Breeding and raising these dogs back at her home in Wisconsin is her life's passion. To be able to bring a beautiful animal like that into the world, to, have, to let other people see it and enjoy it, um, that gives me a great deal of satisfaction. They are fairly easy to care for. Uh, they can be in almost any uh, home situation. And with people, a lot of people now having to be in apartments and condos and that kind of thing, they fit in very easily. Uh, again, they're very loving. People want something that they can, you know, cuddle and cry over if they have to. The chihuahuas aren't, aren't made to do anything in particular. Chihuahuas are mainly for loving.